Now, a lot of people have often said that the workflow in Reason needs to be improved. And a lot of people ask in the comments, whether I see this on Facebook or when I make these statements, people say, well, what do you mean by that? So in this video, I want to try and give five concrete examples of things that I think Reason Studios could and should do to make Reason more streamlined in the workflow and to make it a much better DAW. If you're a Reason user though, and you're enjoying making music in it, I do want to let you know that I've got a free Reason mixing template. The link's down below. You can use that to mix your tracks way faster. It's got a lot of workflow improvements already built in, so you don't have to do them from scratch. But nonetheless, these workflows that I'm going to show you here are even nicer and better. So the first thing I'd like to say that Reason could do to really streamline the workflow is just to add more hotkeys. Yes, there are a fair number of hotkeys in Reason, but it's really nowhere near what you see in other DAWs. I'm going to show you logic here for a lot of these examples because I think they do so many things right. So if you go down here, you can go to presets. A, there's different presets for different languages, but you can go to edit assignments, meaning you can create your own hotkeys for whatever you want. But even just looking at the pre-built hotkeys, there are literally like bajillions of them. I, you know, I mean, who knows half of them, but essentially you can use a, but essentially you can use a hotkey for nearly any in logic. And I would love to see that in reason, in addition to just being able to assign your own hotkey. It saves so much time when you're able. The next thing I want to talk about is collapsible mixer channel. In reason, things can really quickly get out of hand scrolling on the mixer, scrolling through the sequencer, scrolling through the rack. And it would be great if they had the ability to collapse. Basically track folders are what some DAWs call it, but collapse all of a bus, for example, into a bus folder. Let me show you here. I've got this thing called East Bay, which is my drum bus, essentially. I click this little carrot, boom, all the different drums pop out. I get my levels assorted on my drum channels. I add some effects. I got my drum sounding the way I want. I don't need to see them again. Pop them out of the way. Let's focus on the guitar. It would be so, so, so much easier to mix and record and do everything in reason if you could have that same type of workflow on the mixer, on the rack, and on the sequence. The third thing I'd love to see in reason is tag-based browsing. I don't think anybody implements this better than Loop Cloud. This is an awesome piece of software for both finding samples, but just organizing your samples. And it's totally free. And I'd recommend you download it right now because it kicks butt. And I'll put a link down there. But I would love to see this same feature functionality, not only for samples, which is what Loop Cloud does, but also for patches. A lot of the contact and native instruments libraries include something like this as well. Um, but basically, I could look through all my libraries for something that's melodic or for anything that's hit South American or loops versus one shots. I could go to a track, let's say, and this is crash and drum fill. Cool. Now I can search for either all the tracks that are drum fills or are that all that aren't. Or if we go here and search for like bass line. We'll just search for. So now it's searching across both my computer and their store, right? I mean, it would be great. It doesn't need to be across a store, but just uh, throughout your library that's on Reason. It tells you the key. It tells you the BPM. You can like songs. It would be even be great if you could rate them sounds one to five, uh, like some features do, so that you can easily find what you're looking for. This even has, which is, you know, I don't know that it's, like, this is a big ask, but it can recommend similar tr sounds. I mean, it's this sort of functionality would make Reason so much more usable, especially as you look between samples and instrument patches, and then even, you know, combinator patches, things like that. So would love to see tag-based browsing and the ability to rate things and to search across everything. I know they upgraded the browser search with Reason 12, 
But aside from speed, I, I, I haven't seen any additional functionality, and I would really... The fourth thing I'd love to see in Reason is just an enhanced sequencer. So, like, again, I'm just going to come back to Logic. I think it does a really good job, not only of giving you a lot of different views, you can resize anything you want, blow up like any, just at the touch of a key, you can kind of get this mini window to blow it up, but you can still keep the overall view of the track. You've got horizontal zooms. You've got the ability to make the wave files bigger or smaller while keeping everything else the same size. If we go up here, we can see like the full wave. We could edit the wave if we wanted to. Like edit the slice points and all of that, all while keeping the whole track in mind so you can easily see what's going on and keep your place. Like if you know that certain things have to happen on certain beats, you can get out of the way with a single hotkey. You also then, if we were to go to the MIDI side of things, you can pull it up. You can also make this a standalone view if you want, or shrink it to any size you want. I, I could pull this out as a separate window, but I'm just showing you how easy it is to just get in there while keeping everything kind of coherent. On the left, you have the ability to actually see and change the effects of the individual channel, which, yeah, you can get the three views on Reason, but it gets pretty clunky pretty fast because essentially you've got, you would have like the full rack over here and you can't work on the rack this small while being focused on the MIDI. Um, in addition, you have, if you notice, each MIDI hit is a different color. You can select one and literally you can get to the velocity controls right here, or there is even a tool that controls velocity. You know, it's, it's just, it's a whole extra layer of control within one view. You have your quantize and your quantize strength here. You've got a bunch of different transform functions here. You don't need to hit F8 like you do in Reason to go to that menu. You also, I mean, I don't think we necessarily need a piano score, but you have the option if you wanted it. Just a fraction of what they have. You can hit a button, easily get to the automation, and draw it out. Although, to be honest, I love in Reason that you can right-click any knob and then start automating it. I think that is a killer feature that is not in Logic. And so, you know, it's not just hating on Reason but I think there's a lot they could do and adapt from other sources. And the fifth thing I'd love to see in Reason is the ability to organize your plugins. So Logic, for example, you, you can do whatever you want with your plugin menu. So you've got the most recent plugins on top, which is super helpful. It's not like your most use, it's just what you were using recently, because sometimes if you're using, like if you're gonna add in all your EQs at one point, you're just gonna want them all there. You can also organize them, for example, by any names, or you can go and organize them by the manufacturer or anything else. If you go to um, preferences, you literally have a plugin manager here, and you can create your own menus for your plugins. I could create cool plugins, you know, and that would be where all my favorite plugins live. And then I could drag and drop whatever plugins I wanted into there. It's really powerful. It saves a lot of time every mix. It, it literally saves, you know, if you're going from start to stop on a song, it probably saves four or five minutes and it gets you exactly into the zone. So if you're doing stock music, for example, and you're trying to make three songs a week, all of these things add up to the ability to create like an extra song a month or two, like, which is a huge difference and something I'd love to see in Reason. And as a bonus, I'm going to say one more thing I'd really like to see, which is the ability to choose what the playhead does really easily. Is it going to play the selected area? Is it going to play the loop area? Is it going to play from where you last started? Is it going to play in the area that you've selected? I think Reason only gives you two choices for what is played, and you have to go deep into the menu to into the preferences to get it as opposed to just right clicking on the playhead. Similarly with record, you have a bunch of options about how you actually do that right there. Same with the auto set and you can change, you know, like the view of the uh, transport for whatever is useful. 
it's just a lot more flexibility. And I think it would really make reason more usable, bring it more to life. These are things that really wouldn't like impact what makes reason so cool, which is the CV stuff, but it would streamline what makes it so crappy, which is all the clicking around you have to do. I really hope you enjoyed this. Let me know if there's other workflow things that you think reason could benefit from and be sure to download that free reason mixing template and be sure to check out this next video because I think you'll really enjoy it. Bye.